what's up everybody welcome to sunday talks episode number 42 i know it's been a minute i know y'all probably been like damn where did rob disappear to well i'm gonna tell y'all something man in life things happen you know and um i was unemployed and it was rough you know what i'm saying and you y'all know the bills don't stop you know what i'm saying the bills do not stop good thing is through the grace of god I got blessed with the job, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, you know, it's like we get something and, you know, you always still wanna do a little something extra to have a goose egg, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't wish unemployment on anybody, man. You know, because, you know, when you're dealing with the unemployment people, boy, this man, you talk about some rude people, it's like they don't care. They don't care about the person that's unemployed because it's not their problem. You know what I'm saying? And then when it comes down to like problems with them giving you your money, they don't care. It ain't their money. Or they'll get upset or they'll get rude. Like the money that they issue, that, that should be issued to you, that's owed to you, it's coming out of their pocket. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when you go to the DMV, you know what I mean? And you, you know, you re you uh, re register in your car. People, some people at the DMV can get the same way you know rude but that thing that's just all around i think it's just a customer service thing man you know like my dad got had uh had an issue with there's a place in vegas called our blaze it's a pizzeria you know when a young lady there came to work attitude you know uh was cutting my dad's pizza on the little cooking you know you know slicing it on the little cooking board or whatever and like the the, the leftover pizza that that fell out that fell off she's take the pizza that on the on, on the board and puts it on the pizza my dad was like wait a minute hold on a second man wait Huh? And she gets an attitude. You know, my dad's like, you got attitude. No, I have an attitude. Oh, really? You know, and granted, do I believe that the customer's always right? No, but in that circumstance right there, that situation, she was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's like, for example, you can go to a subway, right? My brother went through this one time. You go to a sub, go to a subway, and you expect for people to be clean. You expect for people to put gloves on their hands when they're making your food, you know what I'm saying? This person was gonna make my brother's sandwich without gloves on. It's like, what are you thinking about? You know what I'm saying? What are you thinking about? So it's like, you wouldn't you want to like be treated, you know, like wouldn't you wanna take care of somebody's food like you want your food to be taken care of? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just, it's crazy, you know? And I think like when COVID hit and like everybody was so, you know, complaining about, oh man, I'm out of work, you know, this, this stuff, whatever, you know, every, and, you know, but it's like when things open back up and people are able to, go back, able to go back to work, now you got people complaining, don't want to be at work. I go to a drive through one day, you know, place to order. I get to the, I get to the counter, you know what I mean? To the uh, first window, this dude sitting there at the window on his phone. I'm saying to myself, I'm like, yo, hello, dummy, I'm here. Hello, I'm like, can you replace my can you repeat my order, please? He said, huh? I said, can you replace my order? Yeah. I looked at him and he said something like when he shut the little window, he said something. I said, I signaled from the road the window, you know, to push the window. I said, what did you say? Oh, nothing. I was, oh, okay. Some people just, some people don't deserve to work. They don't because to be able to work, it's a blessing. You know what I mean? I don't give a damn what kind of job you got. If you have a job and you able, you make, and you making a paycheck, it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. You know what I mean? Are, are, are we all at our ideal jobs? Probably not. But to be able to be blessed and to be able to bring home a check every week or every two weeks or whatever, it's a blessing. Because a, a, a check, to receive a check is better than not receiving no check at all and that's tough you know what i'm saying because them bills don't stop you understand me them bills don't stop you know a lot of stuff happened like you know that stuff happened it put i had to pump my brakes in my videos because you know your focus is elsewhere you know what i'm saying and it's 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 it's, it's tough when you have lost a job you have no income you got bills coming in you got kids you know what i'm saying and then that happens you know and then you know, like i say you just deal with just things in life you know what i'm saying we all deal with different circumstances, you know, whether it's your kids or whether it's work, whether it's your finances or whatever the case, relationships with don't matter, whatever. It's something, you know what I'm saying? So 
it's so good to like be able to have people in your in your corner that will talk to you to have a good a good a good solid foundation you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day i'm gonna tell you something and this is i'm kind of jumping you know uh thought uh, uh uh trains of thought on this here but even when it comes to people who don't support you people who don't talk to you whatever you can't you you can't control you can't control it if somebody don't want to talk to you you just gotta wash your hands and be like okay well maybe they'll come back around you know what i mean or whatever you know what i'm saying um not everybody's gonna be your friend not everybody's gonna be supportive of whatever it is whatever uh um, adventure you know that, that you that you have set out for to do nobody's gonna be nobody's gonna pump harder for you and whatever it is you want to do but you you have to be your own biggest cheerleader because not everybody's going to understand what you're doing until the day you blow up until the day something happens then that's when they want to be like hey well i remember when you was doing this and you was doing that well, what about when i wasn't working and you knew i wasn't working and we had conversations and you never was like hey man you need like 20 30 dollars for the gas money man something that just i ain't got much man but just something to help you stuff like that goes a long way when it's like it's, it's the thought that counts it's just like with communication and the phone calls. So, I mean, look, you know what I mean? Text someone, get somebody a call. That's not hard. That's 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 not hard to do, you know. But I want to tap in with y'all today, and you know, uh, let y'all know that I'm good. You know, like I said, back working again. You know, life happens. You know what I mean? And I want y'all to do me a favor, man. Hopefully, this video touches somebody, man. Um, you know, reach out to your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Stay strong. If you're going through anything right now, have faith and know that things are going to get better. You know what I mean? Uh, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Remember that. All right. So with all that being said, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Your boy is still here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way each and every time your boy uploads a video, you'll be the first to be notified. All right. With all that being said, man, I'm going to catch y'all next week for Sunday Talks, episode number 43. All right, we gone. Peace.